Report Layout Utility or RLU is part of the ADTS that is used to define and create report formats that can be used in application programs. RLU supports a number of features. Sequence line commands that can be used to copy, move, repeat, insert, exclude and delete lines, define a field or a record type and to display a ruler. Command line commands that can position the display, change editing options, find character strings, hide lines, save changes to a report and exit from RLU. Services display that provide find change and browse copy options. Split session editing and browsing that allows you to split the design report display into two parts. Full screen mode that allows you to set your edit or browse display to full screen mode where function keys are removed from the bottom portion of the display. Syntax checking that allows you to create error free source members. We can start an RLU session in one of the following ways. Type the start RLU command from any command line with the required parameters. Type the start RLU command and press the enter key from any command line. This will automatically open the printer file that had been edited in the last session. Select option 19 from the work with members display to edit an existing printer file. Let us begin by typing start RLU on the command line and pressing the F4 key so that we are prompted for the parameters. The start report layout utility display appears. Here we type the source file name, library name, the source name and a text description and then press the enter key. We come to design report screen that is very similar to the SEU screen. All the SEU commands can be used with RLU as well. Here we type in the required report format. Take care not to press the enter key. To define the line or lines that make up the record format, we can either type DR on each sequence line or type DRR on the first and last sequence lines that belong to a record format. On pressing the enter key, the screen appears as seen here with a default record format name RCD001 in the sequence number field. The first line of the format contains the name while the remaining lines have a continuation character, the plus sign, in the sequence number field. Press the F18 function key to define record keywords. On the work with record keywords, we specify option 2 to select a particular keyword. Here we select the space before keyword to specify the number of lines to move forward before printing the record format. On pressing the enter key, the specify space before display appears. Here we specify the number of lines to space to before printing. Pressing enter will take us back to the work with record keywords display. A greater than symbol will appear before a keyword when it has been selected. To define a new record format name, press the F10 key. Here we type in the new record format name REPRT and press the F3 key. This brings us to the design report screen. The default record format name has been changed to REPPRT. To define a field, we can place the cursor in front of the field and press the F11 function key. To define a number of fields, 
appearing on a line, we type DF on the sequence line number and press the enter key. Here we use the second method. On pressing the enter key, a field line appears above the actual fields defined. Also, a message appears at the bottom of the screen confirming that two fields have been created. We can define keywords for each field individually by placing the cursor on that field and pressing the F23 function key or we can use the F4 key to work with all the fields that have been defined for the format. On pressing the F4 key, the work with fields screen is displayed. As you can see, the two fields that we have defined so far are listed here. Here you have options to change, delete and work with keywords. Let us select option 2 to change the field attributes. Pressing the enter key will take us to the specify field information screen. FLD001 is a date field. We convert FLD001 to a constant field by pressing the F11 key. We can also specify the starting position for the field FLD001. On pressing the enter key, we return to the work with fields display. To specify keywords for a field, we enter option 5 against the field. This brings us to the work with field keywords display. Here we use option 2 to specify a keyword and option 4 to remove keywords we do not require. Let us specify the date keyword by entering option 2 and pressing the enter key. The specify date screen is displayed. Let us select option 1 for the job date. Pressing the enter key will take us back to the work with fields display. As you can see, the FLD001 field has been changed to date. Press the enter key to go back to the design report screen. Notice the date field. Now we define the remaining fields on the display. To define all the fields, type DFF on the first and last lines between, between which you want to define fields. When you press the enter key, you see the screen displayed here with a message at the bottom indicating that six fields have been defined. Press the F4 function key to define all the fields just as we did for the first two fields. The work with fields display is shown on the screen. We can change the name of the FLD002 field by typing the new name CASID over it. Select option 2 to change the field attributes of the remaining fields. On pressing the enter key, we will be prompted with a specify field information display screen for each of the fields that have been selected. We perform the same sequence of steps for each field just as we did for FLD001. When we are through with the last field, we will be taken back to the work with fields display. Pressing the enter key will take us back to the design report screen. We can exit from here by pressing the F3 key. This will take us to the exit RLU screen. Select option 1 for save and exit. This causes the DDS source generated by RLU to be saved to the source file identified by the member, source file and library entries. Specify Y for create printer file to create a printer file. Also specify Y for prototype report options to produce a printed version of the report. On pressing the enter key, the printer file will be created and we go back to the AS400 main menu where a message is displayed at the bottom of the screen.
Summary In this chapter, we studied the Report Layout Utility or RLU used for designing reports. RLU automatically generates the DDS source for the report formats that we design using RLU. We saw the various steps required to design a report.